I'm Ben Axler, CIO of Spruce Point Capital Management. Today we issue a strong sell research opinion on Porch Group Inc., tickers PRCH, with 50 to 70% downside. Now, this is a recent SPAC deal, but one of the worst of its kind. Hemorrhaging cash and technical default before a new capital injection and a new spin on its business. After 10 years, the company still can't generate cash flow and hasn't figured out how it's going to make money selling home services to customers. The latest iteration we also think will fail. It's being run by Matt Ehrlichman. He came from the Active Network. Now, a number of years ago, I co authored a a scathing report that sent that stock reeling, the executives were dismissed, and the company was taken private, and public shareholders lost money. We think Porch is the latest recreation of Active. Now, the company's already trying to obscure partnerships that have failed. Go to the website. You'll see them hiding partnerships that either don't exist or failed. Now, the company's recent focus is on the home inspector market, and what they do is they either sell the software or give it away for free. But the problem is they're inflating their gross margins because they're effectively bartering and recording no cost for these leads. We also talked to uh, key people knowledgeable with this business, believe the company is inflating key inputs um, around the financial metrics of this business. This isn't the first time. The company is currently being sued for fraud by Candela, which alleged the company you know, offered services it never intended to follow through on as also inflated metrics. Now, the company has also engaged in other shady transactions and shady accounting. Look at the Lowe's transaction with the CEO. The company recorded this transaction on its books for adding $33 million of stock comp expense, even though the transaction had nothing to do with the company and gave it a conflicting explanation to the SEC. We think they're just desperate to avoid a goodwill impairment. Now, this company is valued at nine times revenues, and Active Network was taken private at two times. And Red Ventures, which has competing assets in the space, also acquired their businesses for two times. If you put a two times multiple in this year's revenues, adjust for debts, and use 100 million diluted share count, we get $5 a share. Buyer beware.